Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Pink. Today, we got a concert to go to today. It's in Brooklyn this time. We're going to go see Miko, and I'm going to try to vlog it again, so let's see how this goes. All right, so of course, since we're going to Brooklyn, got to take the PATH train, and look, I'm doing the little tappy-wappy. Got to show off the fit, represent uh, Think Rich Clothing. Go check out his stuff. We got to take the Rockaway Parkway to Carnegie. I don't know this shit. I get lost all the fucking time, bro. But then we got to Brooklyn. Look how pretty everything is. And there was also a lot of pretty uh, graffiti and street art. I had to show up some stuff. And there was even a little little peep dedication thing. And this is the venue. That's a long-ass line. This is the venue called Elsewhere Zone 1. And this was the stage. <laughs> and I actually got notes for this. This is Coven Way, one of the openers. And he started with his song, Everything is Red. And then he goes on into his song before. And luckily... Coven was actually nice and actually name dropped every song, which made this video a lot easier to do. So this is his cover of Undercover Martin by Two Door Cinema Club, and here's one of my favorite quotes of the night. So your heart. Yeah, I'm kawaii as fuck. After that, he goes into his song Late Night Talks, and he actually had some unreleased songs that he played, just like this one, uh, Lemon and Lime and that one was pretty dope coven overall is just a very good entertaining guy and then we go into lipstick another little banger of a song and he also showed a demo of his song roadrunner which i think would be coming out soon um i would love to hear it again because it was very good and then he goes into motherfucking shake it by <laughs> metro station which was pretty cool and then he closed out his set with uh his collaboration with ethan lowe called midnight that was a pretty good song, and Coven is pretty entertaining. Pretty cool dude. He was honest about his stuff on stage, and after that, short intermission. So here's what the stairs look like to the bathroom with cool TVs. Up next is Hyven, the second opener, and he didn't name his songs that he was performing, but I did my homework and found most of them. So the first two songs that he performed were Cry For Me and Stranger, followed by an unreleased song, which I don't know the name of. After that, he performed his song Ghosts, and after that was Pretty Girl. After that, he performed Move and Symphony, some banger tricks. And then after that, he brought Coven back up, and they both performed the song, which I sadly don't know the name to. Maybe it's unreleased. And fair warning to any future Coven way of performance goers, he will throw water at you, and he'll call it baptism. And after those two dope-ass performers, we got the main boy, Miko. And of course, he started his set with Peaked. I try, I, get it, I tried to peak the audio with that. After that, he did his song M.I.A., which is super fun to sing along to. I like it when it comes up on my walk from work. And right after that, it was one of his songs from his earlier album, Make Me Leave. That was pretty good. And then he performed Treat Your Friends, which was an unreleased song at the time. But since I took too long to make this, now it's out everywhere. Go stream it. <laughs> And after that, um, Miko and his band, for whatever reason, started singing uh, a cover of One Last Time by Ariana Grande. No idea why the fuck they did this song, but it was good, even though Miko kept fucking up the words. But I'll let him say it for himself. Hey, I don't know the words, it's not my song. <laughs> one last time, what? I need to be the one that takes you home. One more after that, time. He came back with his song, Maybe I'm the Problem Now, another banger to sing, which I sing a lot on the on the walks home from work. <laughs> After that was another song that was unreleased at the time, but it's out now, called Better. Go listen to it, it's, it's, it's good. And then for the OG fans was the song Down, which I think was one of the first songs that of his that went very viral. And this clip just shows the chemistry between him and the band, and I really love that. I find it really awesome. And Miko had a mini speech before he performed his song 20-something, and it really hit, so I just want you to listen to it. So I've, I've been spending a lot of the night talking about being extremely grateful. And <laughs> me too, bro. I, I appreciate you all being here, genuinely. Because, like, I didn't really think that all of this was possible. Like, even, like, before this year, I didn't really think so. I was just a kid sitting in his room in his parents' basement, just writing songs for whoever the hell to hear. I'm just very lucky it happened to be you guys. But... This is a song I wrote back when I wasn't sure if I'd have to get this. If I can get this shit working. And 20-something, um, 
just hit really close to home for me because i've had moments like that too so go listen to that too that's also from the unreleased but now out songs <laughs> and enjoy one of my other favorite quotes of the night and that was from who do you love one of his older songs and yeah I, i've recorded a song this year and sometimes i don't even remember those i can definitely relate to that then it's Love Her More, another song from one of his older albums. Go listen, it's good. Oh my God. Then it's the song I was waiting for the most, Another Soul. That song is so good because I had a very bad uh, thing this year happen. So I relate to that song very heavy. Go stream that song, please. After that, it's Bruise My Face, another good song to sing along to. And when you're feeling sad. After that was Bad Note. It was cool to hear this live since I haven't really heard it a lot. But hell yeah. After that, it was Did Too Much, one of his classics. And then the song that everyone was waiting for, Cut My Hair. It was awesome to hear that song live. It's also very fun to sing along to. And here, you can just hear that the crowd loves Miko. One more song he did. Actually, two more. First, it was Prove Me Wrong. And then he had to end the show with another classic of his, Lie, Lie, Lie. All fun songs to sing along to. And then I got some pizza afterwards. It was very good. I never tried this one before. And that is the vlog, even though it took me two or three weeks to fucking get it done. But... I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I enjoyed the concert and um I did almost have a chance to meet Miko, but just before the openers went on, um they were like, "Oh, sorry. I don't want to interrupt the 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 openers." So I couldn't. I wanted to get Miko to maybe say something for the vlog, but you know, maybe I'll have another chance sometime whenever he goes touring again. The show was still good regardless. Shout out to Coven Way, Hyven, and of course Miko putting on great performances. And shout out to the people that I met at the concert. Merlin, Maria, and Sophie. They were dope. We got some pizza afterwards, hung out for a bit, and then took an Uber um, to their place. And then Merlin drove me back. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> and uh, let me know if you want me to do more vlogs. I don't know if I'm going to do specifically concert vlogs or just vlogs in general. My life ain't exciting. I go to work and then I fucking make music and go to sleep. <laughs> but if you want to see something like that, then let me know. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. I'll see y'all whenever.